I'm Yoni Siboni. First time I saw Gila was in a salsa club. She was the teacher. It was a big wedding, a very happy wedding. Then we go to a honeymoon. After a couple months, she get pregnant. She was six months pregnant. One day, I go out with my friend, and suddenly my wife is calling me, and she said she's feeling very bad. I get here, and uh, she was screaming, my, my head, my head is very pained. Call the ambulance. Then they take her to Adassa Hospital. I received a call around 2 a.m. that Gila was on the way to the hospital. She's a young woman. It was known that she was pregnant and that she was in a very poor neurological state. She was in a coma. She had one pupil that was dilated, and that's a very bad sign because that usually means that there's pressure not just on the brain, but on the brainstem. And it's a situation in which a patient can be about to die, basically. She was taken immediately to the CT scan. What we saw is a large hematoma, a large bleed in the brain. It was about eight by five by four centimeters. That's about the size of a fist of a small child. She was taken directly to the operating theater for evacuation of the hematoma. What we do in these type of situations, we do a very large craniectomy. We take off a large piece of the skull, and that allows us not only to remove the hematoma, but it allows the swollen brain to swell outward, and that relieves the pressure on the brain stem. This type of operation, we've only been doing in neurosurgery for the past decade or so. Before that, patients with a bleed this size or with a traumatic brain injury were unlikely to survive. After seven hours of surgery, it was the morning already. I go inside, I didn't recognize her. All the machines around her. The doctor told me that there are a big chance that we're gonna lose the baby. It was a difficult time because she wasn't able to keep the pregnancy. And that made things very difficult for everybody. They were sitting like 30 doctors together and everybody decided that we need to uh, stop this uh, pregnant. It was the toughest decision in my life. The swelling slowly went down. And after a few weeks, she slowly started returning to consciousness. And at that point, we knew that we had reason to be much more optimistic. And still, the recovery process, as always, is very slow. Dr. Sin and Karim saved Gila's life, but she couldn't talk, she couldn't move herself, she couldn't even understand comments and questions. We worked together multidisciplinary team of doctors, nurses, occupational therapists, physiotherapists, psychologists, dietitians, uh, speech therapists. I was with Gila almost 24 hours a day. I didn't work like uh, almost a year. During rehabilitation, she started to learn to move her body. She started to talk. Day by day, week by week, she made a huge progress together with her husband. He stayed near Gila around the clock. They did it together. I not even dream that I can sit like that next to my wife, my beautiful wife. We have a strong relationship. We are having fun almost the same like before. We joke together and it's like, for me, it's a dream. The biggest lesson that I learned was to laugh about things as much as you can and smile because crying doesn't lead to good places. The path I take 
leads towards laughter and smiles. At first, I dreamed of sitting down with a drink and talking. And then it became a dream of walking, every time to set a new goal. My dream is to make a children's and live a normal life. To be a mother. I want to be a mother. I wish to Gila to become a mother for at least two or three children, and she's able to do it. She will be a great mother. It's hard to say that you love a hospital, but as far as it's possible, I love this hospital. I felt how much they cared. They cared about me personally, and I felt it. One of the great things about working at Adassa is that you have such a support system and such a multidisciplinary level of expertise, and it's that team approach which really allows her to recover from her injury. I wanted to say to the woman of Adassa, because of you, I get my wife back, and because of you, uh, she's smiling. What an amazing woman. It was so great to know that there are good people along this difficult path. 300,000 women who I would hug one by one if I could. The word thank you seems so small next to the work they do. She's, she's again with me.